Google Pixel phones are known for their outstanding cameras, but does this still hold true for older models like the Pixel 7a? Let's find out in this video. I tested the Google Pixel 7a's cameras in various settings both outdoors and indoors during day and night. If you are planning to buy the Pixel 7a this year or want to know how this budget-friendly Google device performs in real-world conditions, make sure to watch this video till the end. Before diving into the photo and video samples, let's go over the camera specs. The Google Pixel 7a features a dual camera setup on the back and a single front-facing camera. On the back, the primary camera is a 64 megapixel sensor with an aperture of f1.9 while the secondary is a 13 megapixel ultra wide angle lens with an aperture of f2.2 and a 120 degree field of view on the front there is a 13 megapixel camera with an aperture of f2.2 the rear cameras support video recording up to 4k 60 fps while the front camera supports up to 4k at 30 fps now let's take a look at some photo samples in daytime conditions. You can capture photos ranging from 0.5x to 8x zoom. All the photos turned out great. After each shot, the phone processes the image to deliver the best possible result. For 8x zoom photos, the clarity initially appears lower, but the final output is impressive. If I had to choose the best photos, I'd go with the 1x and 2x zoom shots as they offer better details compared to the others. In the camera app, you have controls like brightness, shadows, and white balance. Additionally, you can choose between RAW or JPEG format, set a timer, adjust the image ratio, and more. However, you won't find fancy filters like those available in phones from Vivo or Oppo. This is the video taken in outdoor conditions by using the Pixel 7a mobile back-facing camera. And right now the video is recording in 4k you can judge how the video quality as well as the clarity that is coming from this mobile also the voice i mean the audio you are listening is directly from this microphone if in case you want you can zoom up to 5x in 4k mode so this is the maximum 5x this is how it looks like and now it is in 1x and by the way, if you want, you can click the photos while recording the video simultaneously. But you cannot shift from back to front or front to back cameras. Moving on to the video stabilization and the quality with the rear camera, the video quality is solid as long as you don't zoom in. Note that the 0.5x zoom is only available when recording at 30 fps. In the camera app, you can control exposure, white balance and other settings like flash, resolution, frame rate, video stabilization, and speech enhancement. However, the speech enhancement option is only available in 30 FPS mode. I'm not sure why they haven't enabled it for 60 FPS as well. While recording the video, I tried to focus a plane in the sky, but the phone struggled to log onto the subject, especially when zoomed in fully. Now, let's look at the photos taken with the front camera. These are normal mode shots. You can zoom up to 4x with the front camera, and the image quality remains good even at 4x zoom. Overall, daytime selfies outdoors looks sharp and detailed. These are the portrait mode photos where you can see the background blur effect. The blur appears natural with minimal errors. However, the 4x zoom portrait photo looks sharper compared to the 4x normal mode photo. The camera app also provides front camera controls like brightness, shadows, white balance and additional settings like screen flash, JPEG or RAW format and face retouching. While recording with the front camera, you can zoom from 1x to 4x. This is the video recording from the Pixel 7a front facing camera. This is how the audio and video here slide and uh, you can judge how it is looking in outdoor conditions. Right now I am moving in my terrace, you can observe how the stabilization as well. The main thing, the video quality and audio quality, these are the two elements you need to understand when it comes to Pixel mobiles. 
unlike the back facing camera in this one also you can actually click the photos but you cannot shift from front to back or back to front so yeah you can shoot videos in 4k at 30 fps and in full hd up to 60 fps there is also a screen flash feature which i tested during nighttime videos and photos i'll share those shortly now let's take a look at some indoor photo and video samples these are the photos taken indoors as you can see the overall picture quality and colors are good the 8x zoom photo is particularly useful for reading text from a distance even in artificial lighting indoors the pixel 7a delivers impressive results and i'm quite satisfied with its performance here are some videos recorded indoors with the front camera hey guys right now the video you are seeing from the google pixel 7a front facing camera and the audio you are listening is directly from this microphone i actually turned on the voice enhancement you can observe how it is cutting off this fan noise so if i turn off that this is how it hears like you can see the differences between with and without the speech enhancement this feature is really cool and uh, i too don't know how it sounds like but the feature is still there and we can expect a good results from this pixel mobiles and by the way you can actually zoom in or zoom out while recording the front facing camera video which is crazy when it comes to google pixel mobiles not only that even if you want you can click the photos while taking the video but you cannot shift from back to front or front to back the speech enhancement feature works well and performs as expected these are portrait mode photos taken indoors the photos are okay though the sharpness is a bit too much in portrait mode the edge detection is solid but the app does not provide any controls to adjust the background blur in the video section there is an option called cinematic pan which stabilizes the footage and slows down panning movements giving the final video a cinematic feel you can record in this mode at 4k or 1080p but only at 30 fps here is a side by side comparison to show how footage looks with and without cinematic pan another interesting feature is photo sphere i tried capturing photos indoors and outdoors using this mode but i didn't get great results the app also offers a long exposure mode which works for both the front and back cameras i even tried taking long exposure shots of videos playing on a laptop and they came out well panorama shots look great with good sharpness and color balance The camera app also includes slow motion and time lapse options. Slow motion videos support up to 1080p while time lapse supports 4K at 30 fps. I find that many users don't make much use of these features. Let's move on to nighttime photos and videos. Here are some photos taken outdoors at night. The photo quality is decent and I'm quite impressed. I prefer the 1x and 2x photos in these samples. Moving from 1x to 2x, you may notice a slight reduction in light. Interestingly, in some conditions, the 1x photo appears darker than the 2x shot. Overall, the 1x and 2x photos are good while the 0.5x and 8x shots aren't as strong. Even at night, the 8x zoom is decent for reading text or numbers from a distance. There is also a dedicated night mode which I'll show you shortly. These are front camera photos in normal and portrait modes with the screen flash turned on. The portrait mode photo has good edge detection though the sharpness is a bit too much. This is the video recording from the back facing camera of Pixel 7a. I turned on the flashlight. You can see how it is working during nighttime conditions. It is like in pitch dark time guys. So that's why I'm recording the video. This is in 0.5x. You can actually shift 1x, 2x and all the way up to 5x. This is how the video and audio looks and hears from the Pixel 7a. As for video quality, you can see a significant drop in light 
when switching from 1x to 0.5x zoom due to the different aperture values. If you zoom beyond 1x at night, the video quality drops significantly. Even though this is a pixel phone, nighttime videography especially when zoomed in isn't great. However, it's important to note that these tests were conducted in pitch dark conditions under artificial lighting like the indoor conditions I showed earlier, the results are better. I recorded a front camera video sample with the screen flash turned on. Hey guys, this is the video recording with the front facing camera in nighttime conditions, that too in outdoor. I turned on the screen flash in Pixel 7a mobile and the audio you are listening is directly coming from the internal microphone. I don't know how the video comes after all the processing but on the screen it feels like a lot of noise it is capturing so let's see after that how it looks like. I shot this in 4k and you can notice a lot of noise. The screen flash does not help much here. I want to mention one thing during my tests whether indoors or outdoors day or night this phone got warmer than usual i never experienced such heating with other budget smartphones if you live in a hot environment this phone may get even warmer than the one you are currently using finally here is my overall camera verdict for the google pixel 7 the photos taken in both daytime and nighttime conditions are excellent there is no doubt about that for nighttime videos however it struggles but daytime videos are good i have no complaints there the front camera zoom feature is impressive and the speech enhancement option is great for recording social media videos even though the camera performs well it lacks some features like portrait video mode background blur control for portrait photos dual video mode and more i have tested many budget smartphones in recent months and even they offer these features of course some people use these features while others don't ultimately what matters most to everyone is good photos and videos both day and night if you're a content creator or someone looking for a great camera phone and you can handle the heating issue the pixel 7a is a solid choice in the under 30,000 rupees price range i'm curious to see if the pixel 8a has the same heating issue during camera use I'll have to test that in the future. This concludes my camera review of the Pixel 7a. If you have any questions or want to know more, feel free to ask in the comments and I'll respond to you. Also check out these other videos related to the Pixel 7a for more insights beyond the camera.